Coming out of Alabama, medical marijuana dispensary licenses blocked in Alabama amid dispute over selection process. Montgomery, Alabama, a judge temporarily blocked Alabama from issuing licenses to medical marijuana dispensaries amid an ongoing legal battle over how the state selected the winning companies. Montgomery Circuit Judge James Anderson issued a temporary restraining order late Thursday to stop the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission from issuing licenses to the, to the four dispensaries. The licenses will be on hold while he hears a challenge to the selection process. The court order is the latest development in an ongoing legal battle that has plagued the start of Alabama's medical marijuana program. Alabama lawmakers uh, voted to allow medical marijuana in the state in 2021. Commission officials are aiming to make the products available in 2024 after a series of delays. The ruling affects only the dispensaries, Brittany Peters, a spokesperson for the commission, said Friday, that the commission has issued licenses to other companies that were selected to cultivate, transport, and test marijuana. The commission next month is set to issue the coveted integrated licenses for multifunctional companies that grow, transport, and sell medical marijuana. Anderson has not yet ruled on the, requ on the request to block the issuance of the integrated licenses. <clears throat> Yellowhammer Medical Dispensaries had sought the pause on the dispensary licenses. Yellowhammer was selected in the commission's first two attempts to award the licenses this summer, but the commission rescinded the awards amid d disputes about the selection process. Yellowhammer was not selected in the latest round. Patrick Dungan, a lawyer representing Yellowhammer, said the company is pleased to see the courts intervene. Dungan said Yellowhammer is, has had unsuccessfully urged the commission to allow two dispensary licenses to go forward and without a decision or I'm sorry, and withhold a decision on the final two. He said the company is only looking for a fair opportunity to be heard on how we were denied a license after achieving the second highest score and being awarded a license twice. Anderson said he is sympathetic to concerns about delaying the availability and medical marijuana, but said a pause on the licenses is merited. And uh, that's Saman Razani reporting for High at Nine News. What do you guys think of the corruption in uh, the process to get a license? I mean, I mean, is anyone really surprised about this? I mean, this thing has been going on for like almost a year and a half now, it seems like. I mean, it seems like it's been going on for, you know, two years, three years. Yeah, like I, I mean, we've been in Alabama. Yeah, like I almost thought good that, politics have been going on since the beginning of time. Oh, did you say? Did you say good politics? Oh, crooked, crooked, oh, crooked, politics. crooked politics, crooked politics. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. I mean, I, I'm not surprised at all. This, this. I mean, they, they they picked people that 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 weren't winners in the beginning of this whole thing, and and there were people that were winners that didn't get selected in the final process, and they tried to say that they had basically executive yeah. privilege to pick and choose whoever they wanted to win. So, like, I don't even understand why you even have a rubric and a scoring process if you just want to pick those people. Right. But, right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Just call it what it is. Mm -hmm. I we, I have a couple friends in the Alabama uh, process of uh, obtaining a license, and um, you know they're dealing with it all, and uh, it's it's been really tough. They feel like they have a glimmer of hope with all of these um, you know rulings, but at the end of the day, just like you said, Jason, it's already been ordained who is uh, mm -hmm. who's going to hold those licenses. So it's a it's a it's a travesty um, for these local governments to corrupt this process and these state governments to corrupt this process. But, you know, that's just all the more reason why we need federal a federal overhaul um, and in the direction of descheduling, not rescheduling. So mm -hmm. hopefully someone's hopefully someone's paying attention to all this nonsense. But at the same hopefully. at the same token, I don't think so. You think people pay attention now all of a sudden? I think people pay to play, and that's how the way it goes. Mm -hmm. It's, it's all like depends that in on every jurisdiction. You... Oh, that's right. That's right. It's all it, depends it on who everywhere. you partner with. Oh. It's all about who so, say that it's all about who you partner with? Yeah, it's all about who you partner with. It's all the local guys who want to get who have are standing in line with their hand out and say, Hey, the pot money is gonna make all this money. I want to make my money too. Yeah, they, you, got the network. you basically have to know the guys that are in the same country club with the lawmakers and the judges and the DA and all these people. You have to you have to know those guys. And if you don't know those guys, good luck. 
Do you walk up Look, to him? Knowing the good mayor old goes a long way. Yes, it does. <laughs> Nevada's a good old boy state. You know, it's the same exact thing. And, you know, we're going on nine years. And the top guys still have the top guys. And when the Department of Taxation was running things, um, and uh, Jorge Pupo was the guy in charge, mm -hmm. and um, he was just giving them out to people giving him money. He got indicted for it. Shout out to Larry. <laughs> Shout out to Larry, the big winner. Shout out to Larry, the big, the big winner out there in Nevada. Hey, yeah, yeah. What yeah. up, Larry? Yeah, what up, Larry? Yes, exactly. We're gonna keep this train train rolling. We we're gonna try to end on time or as close to on time as humanly 